William Ruto anakutana na rais wa Italia hivi sasa hebu tusikize eh, yale ambayo anasema. L'importanza alla alla all'attività di stimolo all'imprenditoriale che che si realizza. Così come riteniamo importante la collaborazione culturale, ne abbiamo parlato con il Presidente Russo in maniera intensa, la collaborazione scientifica e tecnologica è di grande eccellenza. Na mtuna mbaradhi ya potu mepoteza sauti kutoka ikulu ya Nairobi ya mbapo rais wa Italia, Sergio Macarela. È una pista di collaborazione per il futuro che intendiamo intensificare. Uh, Accanto a questo intendiamo intensificare anche la collaborazione culturale tra le nostre paesi, tra le nostre università, tra i nostri giovani, che sono il, il modo per la una sempre maggiore amicizia reciproca e scambio di esperienze, di conoscenze, di capacità reciproca di intendere. L'Italia considera, signor Presidente Ruto, che il Kenya, l'ho già detto durante il nostro incontro, è un bilancio di stabilità in questo incontro. L'Italia pensa che il Kenya è un pilare di stabilità in questa regione in Africa. We very much appreciated the crucial role played by you, Mr. President, your government, the role that Kenya as a whole has played in Ethiopia so that it could solve, so that we could solve the uh, dramatic confrontation between the Ethiopian government and the Tigray region. And the Pretoria Agreement is also the outcome of uh, your essential contribution, of Kenya's essential contribution, so that uh, Ethiopia, your neighboring country, could reach uh, peace and stability. And we stand with Kenya in uh, fostering peace, development, and cooperation so that the entire region can uh, uh, go towards development and peace, which of course uh, clashes are a huge obstacle too. There is a, a great deal of concern uh, regarding the tensions in the Great Lakes region and in the Horn of Africa. And we fully support uh, the initiatives uh, being developed by Kenya, such as the Nairobi process, the goal of which is to develop a culture of peace and social and economic development. Also because of that, we are convinced of the fact that we have to intensify the collaboration between the European Union and Kenya so that we can contribute to uh, Kenya's precious work in terms of fostering peace development and social and economic growth. Kenya and Italy, as we mentioned this morning, once again, Mr. President, share uh, a vision regarding international relations, a vision based on multilateralism, on the search for a dialogue and peace. We share the refusal to uh, war and aggression. That's why Italy has supported firmly the presence of Kenya within the United Nations Security Council, which was extremely successful. I wish to uh, mention Kenya's appeal to the international uh, community to pay closer attention to the needs of the global south. Italy shares and supports this appeal, this uh, crucial plea so that the world can head towards a, a more equitable distribution of resources and well-being uh, so that we can have more cooperation and cooperation based on solidarity. And I'd like to go back to what uh, President Ruto said so wisely uh, regarding uh, the climate and the climate emergency we face. Hopefully, uh, Nairobi can have some rain today. But of course, the drought that you have been witnessing in the region in recent years is uh, something alarming and is a symptom of the serious consequences brought about by climate change. This is something we feel everywhere, including in Europe and in Italy. We uh, truly need rain 
We're seeing a decrease in uh, the snow uh, on our mountains and in our glaciers, which are a consequence of climate change. That's why Kenya and Italy share the same awareness, and we wish to urge the international community to proceed swiftly in uh, taking all the decisions needed to curb uh, the atmosphere's pollution and so that we can uh, deal with climate change in an effective way. By doing so, we will lay the foundations for future well-being and future development that our young people and the future generations can reap the benefits of. And uh, due to a far-sighted choice made by President Kenyatta, Kenya's first president, Nairobi hosts the United Nations Environment Program headquarters, which underscores how important it is to act in a tangible way, and increasingly so, to curb climate change. And hopefully, the upcoming COP28 summit in Dubai will lead to a growing and tangible commitment so that uh, we can commit together to counter climate change. All of these topics need a common commitment uh, on the international community side. And on these topics, including health, climate, migration, development, and a greater uh, balance uh, in uh, international well-being, in all these topics, Kenya and Italy uh, have a shared common vision, and we intend to develop our collaboration very much in the future. Thank you once again, Mr. President, for your welcome. Thank you for the friendship which unites us. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Thank you, Your Excellencies. We'll now take uh, the first two questions. Kindly introduce yourself and the media house you represent as you ask your question. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Chimutai Goin from Citizen TV, and I have one question. Uh, Mr. President, you addressed a matter that is at the heart of many, uh, the issue of the suspended uh, construction of the three dams, Aror and Kimwarer in Elgeo Marakwet County and Itare Dam in Bomet County. Yeah, and you Nakuru County, sorry. Um, and you have mentioned that um, uh, you are renegotiating the terms of engagement. Uh, we would want to know in this renegotiation, uh, the financial, uh, is the financing of those projects going to change uh, in light of the fact that when the matter came up, there were questions about opaque financing agreements. Um, and if that is changing, have you set out timelines within which you're expecting to have settled the matter and have the dams construction take off? Thank you. I'm happy to answer that. Okay. So maybe I could, uh, I think that question was directed to me. So let me uh, say the following. As I made a commitment to the people of Kenya that we are going to resolve the issues surrounding Itare, Aror, and Kimare dams, an issue that was, um, that has stalled the construction of those three dams now for almost three years. I am happy to report to the nation that the government of Kenya and the government of Italy have agreed and in fact the process of sorting out the matters in court has already started in earnest. We as a government of Kenya are going to withdraw the cases filed against the companies and the uh, government of Italy is, and the contractors are also going to withdraw the arbitration cases, we have agreed that the restart of this project projects is not only urgent, it is priority, it is necessary, because it's going to supply water to many towns in Akuru County and Kericho County and many uh, other areas in Baringo and Elgeyo Maraquet County. We have agreed that the financing that was already made available is going to be restructured and the projects are going to start. We intend to clear the court issues in the next one month and be able to start the process of negotiating uh, the restructuring of financing and hopefully we should be able to go on with the construction of these dams 
in a matter of months. That is the agreement that the two governments have agreed on. Thank you very much. Non tocca a me rispondere, ma vorrei dire che, che apprezzo e condivido la risposta del Presidente Ruto. Ferrara Sky TG24 Sky News. Presidente Mattarella, Presidente Mattarella. Che, rivolgo poi anche al uh, Presidente Ruto. Uh, sappiamo che il Ruto. tema dei migranti non è un tema principale al centro di questo colloquio, ma resta pur sempre un meeting, tema di stretta e purtroppo sempre più spesso tragica uh, attualità be, uh, per il nostro Paese, per l'Italia, per il Mediterraneo, uh, Italia, Italia frontiera marittima dell'Europa, uh, anche alla luce delle ultime notizie, delle ultime ipotesi di centinaia di persone. Dicevo, Presidente, eh, che il Mr. tema dei migranti sappiamo non essere un tema uh, tra i temi principali al centro di questi colloqui, ma resta pur sempre un tema di stretta attualità e sempre più spesso uh, tragica uh, attualità uh, per il nostro Paese, uh, uh, per Italy, which is a anche alla luce country on the border of the European Union. Uh, we've heard of uh, the possibility of having hundreds of thousands of migrants traveling from North Africa uh, to Italy in the near future. You have always said that the way forward is to open formal uh, collaboration with the countries of origin of migration. The privileged relation between Italy and Kenya, do you think it can be an example of cooperation uh, in the development of important sectors? You mentioned technology, research, the uh, environment, you mentioned science. Do you think the relations between Italy and Kenya can be an example even when it comes to migration? Uh, it certainly can be an example. Il livello e la modalità di collaborazione tra Kenya e Italia sono esemplari, and Kenya uh, has reached excellent levels, and they truly can be a benchmark uh, for everyone, which can be replicated everywhere. We have excellent relations with all countries, of course, and we would like to uh, continue having excellent relations with everyone, also because we can only deal with common problems if we cooperate well. Uh, this, of course, uh, applies to all of the issues you mentioned, beginning with migration. We uh, want to have uh, good cooperation with the countries of origin and the countries of transit when it comes to migration, but we know that uh, the dimension of migration, its entity, which is growing everywhere in the world, cannot be dealt with only bilaterally. Migration can only be dealt with together in a well-organized European action that can uh, deal with this uh, major issue uh, in an effective way. This, of course, affects uh, the Mediterranean route, but it also uh, affects the Balkan route. These are two elements which intersect. And through good bilateral cooperation, of course, we can become uh, more aware and we can have a more organic approach within the framework of the European Union on all topics, including migration. Good afternoon, Your Excellencies. My name is Leila Mohamed from NTV Kenya. My question goes to both you, Excellencies. Italy has invested a lot in, in Kenya in terms of the tourism sector. Uh, in your deliberations this morning, have you discussed on ways in which Kenyans can also invest in the Italian economy? And uh, President Ruto, you spoke about uh, President Mattarella uh, giving Kenya a part on the back in terms of uh, diplomacy in ensuring peace in the region. How then do you take this conversation in terms of enabling Kenya to undertake its peace mandate within the region in terms of uh, any form of uh, assistance, whether financial or uh, otherwise. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think in the context of our conversation this morning and afternoon, the issue of Kenya playing a pivotal role in, as a stabilizing factor in our region was an issue that was discussed. We have agreed that Italy, through the EU, 
will be supporting our efforts, both in Somalia, where the EU is a very big player in supporting our troops in Somalia. We have also agreed that we will be having a conversation later this month when I visit uh, Brussels on what the EU can do uh, to support our troops and the interventions we are making in DRC Congo, where, again, um, the conversation is going to be about the participation of Italy and the EU in supporting our efforts in stabilizing our region. And it goes a long way in responding to the issue that was earlier asked to President Mattarella about migration. The best way to encourage reasonable migration and en ensuring that there is equitable development everywhere in the globe is to make sure that there are opportunities everywhere in the globe. What we, the conversation we are having with the EU is on how they can support us in the continent to unlock the huge possibilities to our young people in green energy, in green agriculture, in green industrialization that will then ensure that opportunities are available in every, part, in every part of the globe, not just in sections of the globe. And as you are aware, the EU, including Italy, is the single largest market of Kenyan exports. That conversation, I am going to further it when I go to Brussels on how using um, the economic partnership agreements that are in, con in discussion, we can facilitate, we can expand more market for our products from tea, coffee, horticulture, avocados, and all the other crops that we are engaged in. So it is a balanced conversation where Italy is investing in Kenya, and Kenya is also benefiting from the market that is expanded in the EU, including in Italy. Thank you.